Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will provide you on implementation of asynchronous advanced actor critic algorithm in TensorFlow and Keras. I will use it to solve simple challenge in Pong environment as before, just for learning purposes. And if you are new to deep learning and reinforcement learning, I suggest you to checking out my previous tutorials before going through this post in order to understand all the building blocks which will be utilized here. If you have been following this series, thank you at first. And presenting this tutorial series, I have learned so much about reinforcement learning in the past months and I'm happy to share what I learned with you. So you might ask, what is this advanced actor critic algorithm? This algorithm was released by Google DeepMind group in 2016 and it essentially beat a deep Q network. It was faster, simpler, more robust and able to achieve much better score on, on the standard deep reinforcement learning tasks that it could work in continuous as well as discrete action spaces. It became the go-to deep reinforcement learning algorithm for new challenging problems with complex state and action spaces. This asynchronous advantage actor critic is quite hard to implement and I will start by breaking it down his name and then the mechanics behind the algorithm itself. So at first, asynchronous algorithm means that this algorithm where multiple agents are trading in parallel each with their own environment. This allows our algorithm not to only train faster and more workers are training are in parallel but also to attain a more diverse training experience as each worker experience is independent advantage this is like a metric to judge both how good its actions were but also how they turned out this allows algorithm to focus on where the network's predictions were lacking intuitively this allows us to measure the advantage of taking action over following the policy at some given state. Actor critics aspect of the argument uses an architecture that shares layers between the policy and value functions. So you might ask, how does it really work? I will say that at a high level, the A3C algorithm uses an asynchronous updating scheme that operates on fixed length time step of experiences in continuous environments and batch at length time steps for experiences in the episodic environments. Uh, this and episodic will be used in my tutorial. It will use the this segment to compute estimators of the reward and advantage function. Each worker performs in six steps. So first is that agent fetch the global network parameters. Uh, agent interact with the environment by following the local policy for some kind of number of steps uh, agent calculates values and policy loss agent get gradients from losses update the global network and it repeats all these steps over and over so actually if i will tell you how, how to simply convert atuc to actor critic actually we need to remove all these workers and leave only this one worker and this would be our simple previous tutorial created actor critical grid. And right now we'll try to implement these workers in Palerar as it shown in this image. So because I already implemented A2C agent in my previous tutorial, this part won't affect agent code that much. We simply need to make our agent work in parallel. So we will firstly define what kind of model we will be using. The master agent will have the global network and each local worker agent will have a copy of the network in their own process. I will use my previous tutorial code. As I said, I will turn this off as I already made the folder of A3C, but, but nothing there. I will just copy code from my previous tutorial and I will open it with sublime same as before and we need to do some necessary steps to work it as asynchronous actor quit i'll begin with uh, some kind of new imports we'll need i will call it imports needed for threading and i will begin with import tensor low stf because we'll need to set a session oh sorry 
STF. Just like that. From Keras dot backend dot TensorFlow. TensorFlow backend. I think something like that. Port that session. Okay. Import threading uh, from threading import thread simply thread and lock needed to lock threads and of course import time. We'll need this in some cases. So that now we need to configure our keras and transfer sessions and graphs. So I will write a configuration equal to TensorFlow on big proto and on big dot u options allow allow growth. If I wrote it correct, we'll see later. So session will be equal to TensorFlow dot session and here config equal to config. And of course, let's call a set sessions with session. And of course, we do the same with our Keras set session. And we'll use ses. And lastly, we need to save our graph. Here should we get default graph. I'm not explaining in this tutorial everything step by step because, well, it's kind of complicated more complicated tutorial so uh oh i hope you have uh, some kind of background to understand it without that so we simply modify our init function so i will uh, add a self episodes here with somewhere here we have episodes and i will add a self dot episode Parameter which will be used to track total count of episodes played through all environments and Here I will write some kind of parameter of zero as we'll start from zero And then I will add self Lock equal to lock so we use it to lock our threads while training We'll see later. Next, we can move to our initialization, initialization step. Now we'll we use a local environment memory instead of global. So we are removing following line. Here we had a states, self actions. Well, actually, I'll comment this. And before we used self image memory, uh, where we were saving games frames because now we'll use this memory locally for uh, every environment We can also remove this so I will comment this and let's move forward and Now I need to make our agent to be able to Predict use predict function in threading way. So I need to write actor dot make predict function predict one function and we do the same with our critic agent we simply compile our model and now i need to save my graph so global graph i write it as graph equal to tensorflow get default graph as before get default graph if you were following my previous a2c code we used remember function great memory now we are removing this function full function instead of using global memory in replay function i will give the memory to replay function so uh, i'm just removing this and i leave in act as it is discount as it is and here i need to write our input so here will be states actions and rewards and here i i need to remove self because we are using this as locally 
And next we are resetting our memory. We don't need this anymore also. And I need to check full surf self function. Fine. We don't need self rewards. And yeah, everything is the same here. So the find load function is the same. Save is the same. Plot will be the same. And what we must change is how we work with every frame. Before we were doing all of this in global level, now we need to do all these steps of all environments in parallel. So also we need to change how we work with all frames. So here I need to add a image memory. Before we had a self, but right now we should work a little different with it. And I'm not sure here what shape it will come. So Sometimes can be with expanded dims, so I simply add a if and if image memory the shape of will come state size, then I will squeeze it. So image memory will be equal to numpy width, and here will be image memory. Well, why it's not recommending it to me? I don't. I don't know. Image memory looks quite okay here, and now I need to comment this. So we don't need this anymore because we are have it locally here. And so image memory, and of course still here and all these. If you you are using this to plot to show. What our agencies, and that's it. Uh, we finished our get image. Next, we can uh, transform our environment. This one, and here we need to add a image memory definition, and we do here numpy zeros and self state size. Yeah, and because we changed our get image function, we also need to change it here. And next, we also do some changes in step. So here we need to know where we are performing the step and with what image. So here, now we'll use this environment and only this. And we'll use get image, image memory. And that's it. For return, we'll use the same. So now when we change our image processing functions, we can work with frames in parallel. They won't be messed up because of that. Now we must change run function. We will add local memory to this function. Well, actually I will mark them in my text version tutorial what I exactly change. So it will be easier for you to understand. So here that state will equal to self.environment, just like that. Uh, next, we need to change our step. step. And here we will use a self environment and state. And now, because we removed our remember function, we need to, of course, comment this and insert this kind of functions for us here locally. And of course, we need to create these memories at first. So, somewhere here, I will call it states, actions, and rewards will be equal to three list arrays. And here will be states append of state. Actions will it be a little bit different because we need to one hot actually. So here I will write action one hot will be equal to numpy zeros. And here we are creating our self action size. Actually we are creating numpy array with zeros of size of action size. And then we use our action one hot why it's not recommended I can't understand and here I will use action and then this action will be to equal to one because we chose this action 
I will use actions to up and action one hot. Simply. Just like that, and rewards we append with word. So we created our memory in locally. I need to change now our replay function, but it's quite kind of easy. We need to just copy this here, and that's it. And I think we created well, not actually created, but I transformed our a to C code that we could uh, work th with this code as a three C with more environments, and actually we can test this agent run, and it should yeah there is an error. Of course, it's good to check to know if I have errors or not. Probably try to boot it again. There is something wrong. Yeah, so it's not here. So. Sorry, that state size. Of course, we need to change this to self state size. Here, self at state size, and reward. Yeah, I forgot to add a bend. And I think it's probably working right now, training. So, yeah, we can cancel build and now our agent is running the same way as it was working in my previous tutorial so actually right now i need to create a threading so i will simply copy this run function i run copy it here and i will call it train threading this function will give an agent environment and thread we are training on so same as before now we'll use global graph and we need to choose it with this global graph as default graph and as default we will use all of this so i will simply Add one more tab to it for episode in range of so before we were using e right now we'll use self episode this is my global episode and state will be self reset environment here we'll need to delete an environment so we'll use state self reset we'll use this environment we created here before so here will be the same installation or state actions and rewards. Now we'll get uh, action will be equal to self act state, same way as before. And here we need to remove self and okay, the same action size, the same. So all of this code is actually quite similar, but First, train our global model. Model in parallel, we are using our definer global graph as simply. When our worker finishes game episode, and we already have collected game memory. In this case, we'll use self lock acquire to lock all the threads. So we keep this if done function, and here after this done function, I will just write a uh, self dot lock. As he said, uh, acquire. And here I will call this self replay. I will simply remove this right now. And after we train at our agent, we write as release. So when we sh we should finish training, we use self lock release and we let other threads to train model with their memory. 
Similar stuff we will do with our plot, but instead of lock and acquire and release, we'll use with self lock actually. So here I can write with self dot lock. I will do all these steps. And here instead of E, I will use self episode. And it will be sa saving our the best model, same as before. And self save, self max average here will be. Yeah, everything is quite okay. And now we need to a little bit change our print function, in the log we use. So here will be our episode. Then I will insert a thread. Because of course we would like to see what thread what score it gives for us and here I will use a uh, self episode same as before this one self episode here will be my thread and all other options will be quite the same self episodes score average and saving and now if self episode if self episode will be lower than self episodes, the total episodes we would like to play, we are incrementing our episode by one. And we don't need this right now. Self, we simply, when our agent finished training, our while loop, or we are here. We simply close our environment. Yeah, I need to one more backward to do this because here is our for loop, and where this for loop finishes, we come to our closed environment step. So actually, this is simply threading function we'll use, and now we need to have some kind of function to call this code. So I will need to write def define our train function so up here i will define uh define train and here we'll just call this with number of thread well actually how many workers would like to train and here we'll close our initialized environment close and we, we will initiate one environment per thread so environments will be equal to g dot make and here will be self dot environment name and I will use our for loop for i in range of number of threads that when we create all the threads here I will call uh, this trading function and also I will do this in this way because we'd like to start our threading or, or stop later so here will be a threading and thread I'm not ex I will not explain you step by step right how threading works I prefer that you have some kind of banger background about it so simply or if you don't have you can google it there, there's a lot of tutorials about that and self-training daemon will be equal to true args to our function will be built environments i and actually the training number and we are doing this for i in range of number of threads the same as before and actually here should be an equal sign and you can write it some kind of this way environments i i yeah i think everything is correct and now we we need to start our training so for e in threads i will call it as after Every started thread we would like to wait uh, two seconds and then start another thread. 
and actually this is not necessary stuff for you or but in python idle it will would work just fine but here in this environment with sublime this needs one more for loop or p in threads because time dot sleep i will do a checking every 10 seconds and i'm checking if our thread finished working if it not finished it will leave 10 seconds and we'll check again and it will do this since our agent will be finished training so actually that's it i will check how many how many age steps there are so i will start with deterministic training same as before so okay and to train it i will need to run another function here i will command this one and as i said i will use deterministic environment and i will need to simply call agent dot train function with number of threads we created and for example i will use three threads and let's see i have any errors we'll check me my gpu well actually before that i would like to change this test function because we also want to need this later i can't forget about that so self step action self environment and state that's it let's build and check if it's working okay it's not working so I can simply add here a threads, build it again, so here I have an error, I didn't saw it. Okay, let's try it again. Wire has no attribute acquire, so it's meant to be written in different, different way. White, but I wrote acquire, white acquire. And okay, let's try it again. No more errors okay seems it's working and um, i'm really glad about that and it's some kind of something wrong with this episode so i need to changes so i will use cancel build and now i will check what what might be wrong give me a second so uh yeah i didn't hear uh one mistake so i will use a uh, while well, episode is smaller than so episodes and that's it and it should be probably be fine right now let's see yeah it seems fine and it's training so i will leave it to train for a while and later the same way as before i will come back and we'll cover the results of it so see you later so same uh We'll come back i just i finished training my agents it took me one day about so same as before you probably want to see what were my training results with pong game right actually it was the same but instead of training aiden for a few days i was actually able to train it in half of a day with five workers 
and when we were able to train agents faster, easier for us to test different modal hyperparameters or even to see if our agent is improving. So these are the results of my asynchronous actor critic agent. Here is my image. Here it is. And actually, here's a thousand steps I trained it, and as you can see, it reached average score closer to maximum in around 500 steps. And you saw how fast it trains, and it didn't took me a lot of time to train. Actually, more time took me to train not the deterministic environment, but this phone game. And here are the results where I started it and I trained it for 20,000 steps. And actually, with asynchronous actual critic, I trained it for 10,000 and I trained it for actually more than one day and with a synchronous actor critic agent I took uh, 20,000 to train for one day and this I think was with five workers and if you have a stronger CPU or GPU or you might implement it even to work with parallel GPUs it might be even faster for you but for me you can see the results and I am quite satisfied with it because two years ago it was the one of the most popular architectures for reinforcement learning. Actually I hope this tutorial was helpful to choose to those who are new to asynchronous reinforcement learning and now you can build almost any reinforcement learning agent which could be trained in parallel. So there is one more tutorial coming, one of the most popular proximal policy optimization algorithm, but I will do it the same way in parallel. So I could say that it will be asynchronous PPO algorithm. And I hope you understood how A3C works because I will use it as a backbone in my next tutorial. So thank you all for watching. I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. You can play around with the code. It's free to use. You can find it on GitHub or my page. And see you in our next tutorial.